So, just when we thought this mess with Dibby couldn't escalate any further, the internet has been sent into a frenzy after new evidence exposed Kim Kardashian and her entire money-hungry family for also being involved in Diddy's illegal reign. Not only has Kim been actively involved with Diddy, but she's also a part of a huge Hollywood cult that destroys other celebrities and profits off their death and declining mental health. All of this, while people thought Kim was making her billions legally through her businesses, but it turns out all of her businesses are just a cover-up for the extremely sinister things that she indulges in behind the scenes to make a fortune for herself. Now, as most of you already know, a lot of these celebrities have been getting incriminated ever since Diddy started being exposed because of all the dirty dealings they had with him in the past. It was very clear from the start that Diddy was not in on this alone because there was no way he would have been able to get away with all the things he did unless he had some serious backing from other powerful celebrities in the industry. Some of the celebrities that people immediately suspected were a part of this were Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Oprah. But nobody really thought Kim Kardashian of all people would somehow be tangled up in all this mess too. People started digging into Kim's connections to Diddy a few weeks ago when she unfollowed Diddy on every single one of her social media platforms just 24 hours before his house got raided by Homeland Security for potential evidence. This was hella suspicious to a lot of people because Kim's timing was just a little too convenient. Cause mind you, Diddy started getting accused of all these despicable things way back in November of last year, but she coincidentally decides to unfollow him everywhere just 24 hours before his home gets raided for evidence. I don't know about y'all, but it seems like Kim, along with everybody else that Diddy associates with, got word that the raid was going down and decided to detach themselves from him in case the feds actually did find something. This is Kim Kardashian we're talking about here. Everything she does is calculated down to the T. People began to do some digging to find out what the T was and girl, they discovered a lot of disturbing things. It all started when a woman on TikTok, who goes by the name BB the songwriter, posted a very explosive video going into details about how Kim and Diddy were involved in Britney Spears' conservatorship and how Kim tried to do the same thing to Kanye when they were married. So apparently, Kim has been working on the side with infamous Hollywood manager Lou Taylor in a lot of her business dealings. Now for those of y'all who somehow don't know who Lou is, she's the owner of the Hollywood management company Tristar Sport & Entertainment, where she manages several celebrities including Diddy, Justin Bieber, and literally every single one of the Kardashians. Lou was actually the mastermind behind Britney Spears being thrown into a conservatorship, and she reportedly tried to do the same thing to Lindsay Lohan too, but her parents were not having it and dragged her to court. But that isn't even the worst of it because you'll remember Kris Jenner got exposed a while ago for opening up that church called California Community Church where all the members are required to pay $8,000 a month membership fee and donate over 10% of their earnings to the church as tents. Initially, people thought this was a scheme orchestrated by Chris to help her and her daughters get a tax write-off, but it's looking like it's much bigger than that. Apparently, Lou Taylor is also a board member at this church, and they've been secretly receiving huge sums of money from Diddy to use in paying off his victims. Since the money's coming from the church, it looks like they're just donating money out of the kindness of their hearts to these victims, when in reality, they're really paying hush money. 24 hours before the raid, Kim Kardashian decides to unfollow Diddy, right? Well, come to find out, this person by the name of Lou Taylor is apparently Diddy's manager. Um, and this Lou Taylor woman is also on the board of Hillsong's church home. Follow me, go with me. They are doing all of this child in the name of the Lord. Why, just, just follow the story. Now to cover myself, everything in this video is a legend, honey. This is what I digged up, and I don't know if, how much truth is to it, but there's reportings, okay? So everything that I'm saying is allegedly. Keep that in mind. So, um, Lou Taylor apparently is paying off, allegedly, some of Diddy's victims from this slush fund through some church fund, okay? Not only that, um, Kim Kardashian mama 
has been making these girls pay 10% tithes to some church that Lou Taylor and her husband is basically owner, co-owner, or whatever. So I was like, let me look into this Lou Taylor person. I'm thinking Lou Taylor was a guy who was a woman with a husband, a whole husband. And they doing ministry and everything. Now, mind you, y'all remember the whole thing with Britney Spears? So come to find out, Lou Taylor... This gets deep, y'all. Hold on. Okay, so Lou Taylor is the CEO of TriStar Sports and Entertainment. Um, she's like a business manager icon. Now, Mike, do y'all know the Lohans? What's the Lindsay Lohan? So she apparently, allegedly, um, she has been behind most of these stars' conservative ship situations, especially Britney Spears. So before um, before we talk about Britney, um, Mike Lohan, which is um, the Lohan girl, Lindsay Lohan's daddy, accused Lou Taylor um, and the mama, Dina Lohan, for trying to put Lindsay Lohan in a conservative ship concerning her money. Also, allegedly, there's a lawsuit from 2021 with Astro World tragedy, and she's being sued for... Um, for employment discrimination. Um, this is what this Lou, part, Lou lady is. Now, Lou Associates maintain intense control also over Britney Spears' life um, and money. Um, and she was behind even the conservative ship of why Britney Spears had that conservative ship because she ended up becoming the business manager and took over the financial pieces of Britney Spears' whole situation. This is something that Lou and her husband have been doing for years, and they've been able to rake in millions of dollars for themselves. They get into spaces with these big celebrities, get them misdiagnosed with mental illnesses that they don't have, get a judge to put them in a conservatorship, and steal millions of dollars from them for as long as they can. And guess what? Diddy and Kim are right at the center of it all. People believe Kim and Diddy were behind the agenda to paint Kenny out as a crazy person so they could put him in the conservatorship and steal his money. In fact, Kenny himself revealed a while ago that he was prescribed an ungodly amount of lithium in doses that he didn't even need. Look. They tried to medicate me. They, I was exhausted. They wrongly diagnosed me. And they, 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 when I asked them, how much lithium did you want to put me on exactly? It took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed about the amount, right? And I refused to take this, right? You understand that if I had taken the medication, I would not be here and it would have been, woe is, he was deeply troubled. We miss him. We love his music, though. Well, they would have Britney Spears, too. I mean, look at they, they would have Michael Jackson or, or worse, yeah. But so look, <laughs> I, guess, I guess what they did. Look at what they did to Britney when she went in. She was tired. She was exhausted. Yeah. She was in a bad way. But ten years of that medication wrecked her brain. You can see it now. Yeah. You can see there's not much of her. And life. if y'all remember, Britney revealed during one of her court hearings that her family intentionally misdiagnosed her and pumped her with a huge load of lithium, which they later tried to use in court to claim that Britney was incapable of handling her own finances. I honestly like to sue my family, to be totally honest with you. Um, I also would like to be able to short share my story with the world and um, what they did to me instead of it being a hush-hush secret to benefit all of them. I want to be able to be heard on what they did to me by making me keep this in for so long is not good for my heart. I've been so angry and I cry every day. It concerns me, I'm told I'm not allowed to expose the people who did this to me. For my sanity, I need you to the judge to approve me, do, be, do an interview where I can be heard on what they did to me. And actually, I have the right to use my voice and take up for myself. My attorney says I can't, um, it's not good. I can't let the public know anything they did to me and by not saying anything, is saying it's okay. I, I don't know what I said here. It's not okay. I would much, actually, I don't want to interview. I'd much rather just have an open call to you for the press to hear, which I didn't know today. We'll In fact, it. during the time that the Free Britney movement was going on, some of Britney's fans also did a deep dive into the whole thing. They discovered that Kim and her entire family profited a whopping $600 million from Britney's conservatorship. The fans said, if you're Lou Taylor and you need to hide $600 mil, would Kim's estate be a logical place to try and hide it? However, they're not putting all the blame on Kim because they also pointed out that Kylie Jenner sold half of her makeup company, Kylie Cosmetics, for a very familiar price. 
If you're following the conspiracy, that means the money could have gone from Britney's trust to Stonebridge to Panama, back into the U.S. through Kim's trust, and over to Kylie Jenner. But it gets even worse because people are now speculating that Kim also has a hand in Diddy's ring. Not only is she profiting off of other people's declining mental health and making them a prisoner of the system for her own benefit, Kim willingly participated in this mess and got paid millions of dollars to promote it to her followers. She and Diddy are clearly one of a kind. The only reason she ain't going down with him is because she's more strategic with her actions and hides it very well. Now, as usual, people have their own thoughts about this. Like this person who said, those greedy crooked demons. All those people are going straight to hell. How much money do you have to have before it's enough? Greed spurs other sins and further immoral behavior. Another person said, that loot lady seems like she's good at scamming vulnerable artists and stashing it in her church funds. The worst part is using God's name and their demonic scamming. Don't these people realize they have to answer on judgment day for illegal business practices and blasphemy? But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Kim being exposed for being involved in Diddy's crimes? And do y'all think she'll ever be going down too once Diddy's arrested? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.